guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing My Name is Lucy Barton by Elizabeth Strout. So, let's discuss it. Basically, the story is about Lucy Barton. Um, she is in hospital recovering from some kind of operation. We don't know what kind. Um, her mother, who she hasn't seen in a very long time, comes to visit her. Um, and so, you know, they just kind of start talking, talking about old neighbors and, you know, just memories, recollecting. And it gets Lucy to remembering um, what happened to her while she was growing up and what, how it made her who she is today. Um, I didn't really get this book at all. Um, a lot of the times, well, like, all the time, basically, when she would remember something, it was kind of like, you know when you remember something on, on the subconscious, you kind of like barely touch it, and you're like, oh yes, and you remember it, and then most of the time you delve in, and you go into detail. Well, with this one, it's like she went into the subconscious, touched on it, oh yes, and then like, mm, I don't want to remember it, and didn't, you know, just... It's, so it's like, well, then why did you talk about it? <laughs> you know, I mean, this is a work of fiction, but still, why would you say, oh, yes, I remember it was like this growing up, but then not go into detail? Because then it leads people to think, well, what exactly was happening? You know, it left more questions than answers, I guess, um, from most all of the book, basically. Um, so I'm really wasn't a fan and it wasn't um, a book that I kind of you know for most of the time when you read a book you sit you know you carve out a special time and you sit down and read it a few hours or whatever you know per day this is what I um, called my bathroom collection book because <laughs> the name implies now obviously you're not in there for hours at a time if you are you should probably go see a doctor but um, you're not going to forget it when you go in and blip, blip, read a few pages, you know, read through it. You're not going to be like, what? I don't, I don't do that way. I can be like, oh yeah, I remember we were such and such a place, it, you know, and still have a flow. Um, but the book didn't really feel like it had a flow. It's like it would go up, it was like waves, they would go up and hit a wall and then just go back into the ocean. They never really float onto a beach. You know what I mean? Really a weird way to say it, but. So, um, I wasn't a fan. Very sorry, Miss Strout. Sorry if that was a disappointment. Um, I would give this book a two out of five. What can you know? Um, sorry about that. <laughs> so the next book we're going to be discussing is called <laughs> The Book of M by Ping Shepherd. This book um, is actually for my book club. I actually have two book clubs mm, 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 going, but this is um, for one of my book clubs. Um, this one actually replaces the book that I was going to read, that we were going to read, called Hex. I still finish that one on my own time, though. And so I will be doing a review on that, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. <laughs> um, this one, um, we just kind of changed our minds. Not a big deal. Um, the Book of M, um, I believe we're meeting in a couple of days, and I'm about a little more than halfway through, so I got some reading to do. I gotta hurry up, get off my butt. Uh, so far, it seems pretty interesting. Kind of goes along with the theme of October, but it's more... Um, mystery wise it's not really gory you know which is still cool <laughs> um there's a squirrel on the on the wire sorry i get distracted easily anyways thanks for watching hope you guys have a great day